In step one, we added the HTML5 audio element, and then we placed uh, two sources within our audio element, an MP3 and an OGG file, so we would be covered for the various different uh, web browsers as far as uh, what they are capable of playing. I believe Firefox might need an OGG, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to graphically deal with our player area. And I'm gonna point out, I'm not specifically, or we're not specifically going to style the default player. What we're going to do is style uh, the con um, our content or what we want to happen graphically around our player, okay? Now, we probably can go in and change uh, from an interface level uh, this player, but there's really no need to do that at this point, okay? Uh, we will look at not using the player in another video and then controlling our audio uh, without this player even being seen. Okay, so right now let's go ahead and style our um, audio area. So if we go back to our code, I'm just going to quickly point out if I scroll down to the bottom, we are crediting the MP3 song uh, resource, bensound.com, and the uh, composer, Benjamin um, Tissot. Um, probably sp pronounce his name wrong, but I gave it a go. All right. So let's go back up to where we had left off with our audio. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of my audio element here and even the comment for now. And then we'll go over to our rule for our audio. And I'm just going to comment this out. So let's add our comments like so. Okay, now let's start out by adding a new comment. And we'll just call this, or we'll just label this HTML5 audio container. And then we're going to start out with a div, and then I'm going to use an ID and a class. And I'll use audio1 for both the ID and a class for targeting this element with our styles. And or if we wanted with a menu item to jump down, we could use the ID. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an icon inside, okay? So let's place our icon. And this is a font awesome icon. So I'm going to need to add my script, which links to uh, my font awesome kit. So we're going to go into our HTML and then the stuff for the head here. Let's go ahead and paste in our script for our font awesome icon we're going to use. Let's go ahead and save. All right, so what we're doing is we're creating this um, content area, okay? This container, which is going to hold our player, but we're gonna place some other graphics and some type uh, within this um, container. All right, so we're gonna start off with this div, okay? And within the div, we will add another div, and this is going to hold our icon. And we're just gonna place the icon in at one point. We'll add our styles, and this will add our icon to the upper right-hand corner, okay? And the icon is just going to be used as a visual cue for the uh, user to hopefully hover over our element to open and close our container. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is add our actual audio content. So let's grab our content here. And we'll follow this div with our icon. 
And what we're going to do, let me go ahead and move this over a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to load an image and we're just going to use this, uh, uh, this image as, um, you know, just a, a, a graphic. And then we're going to add an H3 and H4 and a P tag. So we're going to go ahead and credit Benjamin. We're going to uh, say basically he's also known as Ben Sound. And then we're going to have a brief description of our audio file. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add our actual audio files. And then we will close our original container, the div. Okay, so we are now adding our audio elements. Okay, I'm going to give this an ID of my audio for something that we're uh, going to be working with in an upcoming video. And then the class, um, actually, I don't believe, I'm going to leave my class on here. This will be for uh, upcoming uh, video also. Okay, then we have our source, we will load our MP3 and our OGG files, and basically we'll then have our fallback in case the browser does not support the HTML5 audio. And our audio element will end, and then our original div uh, element will end, which holds um, all of the content we have just added, our container. Okay, so this div right up here. All right, let's begin to add our styles and we'll talk about those styles as we add them. And then we'll take a look at what we have just created. All right, so let's go ahead and begin to add our styles. And we're gonna start off with audio one. So if we take a look, we see that we have class audio one. So let's go ahead and begin to add our styles. And you'll notice now that I have converted all of my um, units of measure to rem. That way, if I were to change my root unit up here for the font size, then my uh, the content we're adding right now would also scale just like we have um, done so in the past. All right, so let's go ahead and go back down and let's find our audio again. All right, so we're going to go ahead and position our element uh, relative. So our element will follow our lyrics and stay um, in the uh, flow of the document following the, those paragraphs for our lyrics. I'm going to load a background image inside of our audio container just so it's a, a graphic and we will set our background position background size will be covered this way our graphic will fill the width of our um, audio our, our container i'm going to set the overflow to hidden just in case any of the content goes outside of the border we're setting we have a border radius now, in this case, I am setting one pixel on my border width, and that's because I don't want to deal with rems on this. No matter if we scale up or down, I want my border to stay a constant one pixel. We're going to add some opacity to this element, and this will make everything inside uh, 0.5 opacity. And then we're going to add a transition, so when we, um, when we change the physical height of our element when we hover over it, we should get a nice uh, animated transition. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and copy and add in make sure I don't select the curly brace. Okay, so we're going to add a hover on audio one. And when we hover over our element, we're going to change the opacity to 1 and the height to 1375 rem. Okay. All right. I just noticed that I left off my 
closing curly brace. So let's go ahead and save and let's take a look at what we have so far. So we'll update our page and you'll see that we have created our container area with a background graphic and when we hover we change our opacity and we also chase, uh, change the actual height. Okay, so in the next video, we will continue to add our styles to our audio um, containing element.